Okay, so, you got yourself a Jeep Cherokee, but you're not sure how much lift it's got. Or, maybe you put on a lift and you want to see what you actually got, because you can't really trust what they say. A three inch lift might not be three inches, you know? When you start adding armor on, like big bumpers, and winches, and other kind of things like that, it starts to sag. And over time, your suspension just slowly starts to go down. So, how do you properly measure how much lift you got? Well, <clears throat> a lot of people have different methods on doing this. I'll show you one that's pretty much foolproof. I only got the numbers for Cherokee, so I can't really help you Wrangler guys out or anything like that. But, this is the most accurate way to measure and compare. Some people measure from the tire to the fender flare, but if you got aftermarket flares, it's not going to work. You can't measure from the body to the ground because that's ground clearance, not lift height. You got to measure from the axle to the body. So, if you come on under hill, you'll see we got ourselves a solid axle and a frame rail per se. I know it's not a real frame rail, but for the unibody Jeeps, this is the closest thing we got to a frame rail. That little doohicker right there. So what we're going to do is take a measuring tape and go from the axle tube to the um, frame rail, and we're going to measure. You want to make sure that you get a flat part coming over here you notice there's a flat part and then there's raised parts on the axle tube you don't want any of the raised parts you want the flat part so there should be a little section over here that we can measure and then if we come to the back it's a little cramped in here but we're gonna go from the tube to this frame rail up here so, I don't know if I'll be able to get a camera angle set up for you guys, but I'll show you kind of, sort of, where to measure. And uh, then I'll show you what to do with those numbers. So, let's get started. Alright, so, the first place we're going to measure is on the front. So, it's easiest to do this on the passenger side. But we're going to take our tape measure and go in from this flat spot right over here. That's right next to this axle casting. And then we're going to go straight up to the... Uh, to the frame rail. Once you do that, you can record your measurement. It looks like we're at 12 and a quarter inches. So we will write that down. Okay, the next part is gonna be on the back. I find this easier on the driver's side. We're gonna measure from the top of the axle tube to the frame rail. Now, if you have a Chrysler eight and a quarter or possibly a different axle, uh, the axle height does matter, so you may have to um, add a certain amount extra compared to uh, what the Dana 35 was. I'll see if I can look up those numbers later. We're going to come back here. Go from the top of the tube up to the frame rail. looking at about 11 and 3 quarter inches in the back. Okay, so now we take our measurements and we start messing around with them. So over here on the left side, this is what the stock measurement for uh, a factory XJ lift was. The front was 6 and 3 quarter inches and the rear was just 6 inches. On ours, we had 12 and a quarter up front and 11 and 3 quarters in the rear. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those numbers and subtract them from the front numbers and see what our true lift height is. So let me get back to you with that. Okay, so now that we come in here, we can take our front number and subtract it from the, the measurement that we got. And we get five and a half inches in the front. And then over here, we get five and three quarter inches in the rear. So it looks like my Jeep has sagged a little bit. Either that or there's just a lot of weight. Because it used to be a little higher. So that's how you know how much lift you got. So now I know that I basically have a five and a half inch lift. Even though it used to be like six or something like that. So, by using that method there, you can easily compare what your Jeep is. So, if you're curious, that's what a 5.5 inch lift on 35 inch tires looks like with an XJ. Now, it looks like it's a little lower to the ground because the rockers, uh, if you take those rock sliders off, it looks a whole lot taller. So, there you go. Now you don't have to worry about being confused anymore. You can figure out your own lift height. So, hopefully uh, this helped you guys out. I know things are getting a little slow around here, but I'm trying to work on some exciting videos. I got a lot of stuff coming up. 
Also, in case you guys don't know, I got an Instagram if you want to follow what I'm doing on the Jeep. I also got a Facebook page, so if you got questions or you just want to send me pictures or something like that, you can also go look at that. That'll be, uh, you know, on my main page or whatever you want. It's all just Nick and Time Films. So, alright. Later, gentlemen and ladies.